Highlighting efforts to reposition the mining sector, the minister emphasized the seven point agenda is well on course, stating that planning for the establishment of Nigeria Solid Mineral Corporation has reached an advanced stage as a process of creating an enabling law by the National Assembly to guide the operation of the institution is underway. Now, exploration data is one of the critical things, factors of a successful mineral sector. The case for the acquisition of massive exploration data to de-risk investment has been successfully articulated by us. The first Nigerian integrated mineral exploration project succeeded in producing data on the occurrence of seven key minerals. The second Nigerian integrated mineral exploration project is more ambitious because it intends to produce total and comprehensive coverage of all categories of minerals in the entire Nigerian landscape. Elaborating further on the importance of the revised requirement for the community development agreement in the mining sector launched by the Ministry last year, 2023, Dr. Alake explained the essence of CDA. No longer must our raw materials be extracted and exported like that. There must be local value that has a major plan of our own seven point agenda. We must begin to use our raw materials and minerals for the benefit of our people. So, in his welcome address, the publisher of Business Day, Mr. Fry Kaibogun, has told the noble objective for initiating the Business Day Solid Minerals Conference. Just to ensure that as we grow and expand the mining sector, the solid mineral sector in Nigeria, and get it ready for significant inward investment that we are also looking after the people, the communities, the minister restated the commitment of the Tinubu administration to turn the mining sector into Nigeria's new petroleum, urging Business Day to lead the fourth estate of the realm in propagating reforms and projecting the sector. Tululokwe Ogutimei, ITV News.